Princess Jorbs was a great movie. I read the book. That's one of those movies where the dialogue is like actually word for word straight out of the book. It's a pretty good book. <laughs> yeah, so far the spire's running me out of town. Private Ryan, that's correct. Through five of the four strikes on turn one instead. You know. You know. Should we just random into Sneko Eye? Maybe that's... Maybe that's our solution. Taking 18 damage to remove two cards probably doesn't work super well. Let's go potions. And try to take this path. This path looks like inoffensive and fine. I wish there was a way to see how long average run is by character. Um, you just crowdsource the project and somebody in the audience really likes spreadsheets and works it all out. Easy game. Hey Aaron. Juanito Taquito. How you doing? So I just recently playing Defect? Totally was. I feel like this deck is already better than that deck was because I got a ball lightning on floor one. And I'm gonna take the hyper beam actually. The hyper beam plus. Hey filthy, thanks for the raid. Ultra laser. Uh, sorry, I had to do that. Much appreciate that, Filthy Robot. Hope your Battle Brothers stream was wonderful today. I enjoyed stopping by earlier. I guess I rated Filthy, right? I rated you like six hours ago, and now you're rating me. It's like all a, a weird flat circle thing. Uh, if you don't know Filthy Robot, good friend of mine, F2K streamer. Uh, Philly and I go way back. We play D&D together every week, except when he's out of town on very important engagements. Very busy man, that filthy robot. Excellent <laughs> flat earth circle. I thought Dolphin, I thought Dolphin was the flat earther of the group. Are you, has he convinced you? Oh no. Oh no. Okay, he's chicken, thanks for bits. Um, what was I up to saying? I don't remember. I was saying some goofy joke about Filthy Robot, and then I was going to say that he's an excellent strategy game streamer, and you should check him out. He plays a lot of MTG Arena and Battle Brothers and all sorts of other strategy games over the course of a storied and wonderful content creating career. The three C's. Uh, we're in a defect run. I'm playing lose to the, to the Spire. The Spire has been murdering me mercilessly for the last, um, just check the, yeah, for the last, I believe, three and a half years. <clears throat> Fun. You met Dolphin in person the other day and now agree with all things he says. That's awesome. I am so glad that you two met. I feel like Dolphin... He's very convincing without even meeting him. So I feel like he must be even more convincing in person, right? Hyperbeam is at its worst in this fight. Because Lego Villain's got a lot of health and it takes a while. Before we can make Lagavulin run out of that health. But we'll be okay, we're not gonna die or anything. You'd like to see me solo a D&D module. What is that? 
mean? Like, would there be a DM? Or would it actually just be me? Just like alone by myself. Ultra laser. When do I typically remove a hyper beam unless I have like echo form? Hyper beam generally stays in your deck. The thing about hyper beam is, yeah, it really sucks in long fights, but you put cards in your deck that suck in long fights all the time. Hyper beam sucks more emphatically than the other ones do. But like, ball lightning isn't very good in long fights. You don't put ball lightning in your deck to beat time eater, you beat, you put it in to beat your like hallway fights and act on elite fights and stuff. And hyper beam is the same way. It's just, it's substantially better at beating the hallway fights and substantially worse in the boss fights. So it's like, more extreme on both sides. If you want to, you can take it out of the deck super late, but generally, like, Strike is still worse than it anyway. You playing all of the characters versus a DM in a dungeon. Hmm. Hmm. But... How would I, like, make really bad jokes with the other people I was playing D&D with? I feel like that is not what D&D is about for me. Take a compile driver. Yeah, Dolphin had a very unpleasant outing attempting to purchase a new computer. I got it worked out though, and he's okay, so. You like Slay the Spire, but don't know who I am, so you're conflicted on whether or not you should watch me. How do you personally solve that situation? When you're confronted with something that you do not know much about, and think it might be good, but can't tell for sure, what do you do? I like to spend about three minutes deciding if I like the UI, and then I dismiss it for the rest of all time if I don't. That's my general approach in that situation. Hey Suya, thanks for the three months. Did the notification not go? Well, Agba Musho, either way. Why did I take Compile Driver? Compile Driver draws so many cards. Like it draws two cards sometimes, but sometimes it draws four cards. That's a lot of cards. Um, Compile Driver is like a, a super, super good common. Unless you only have lightning orbs. So I could think of Rip and Tear, but I'm not sure that I really need it at this point. I think I'll take better upgraded attacks. I'll take like more Compile Driver pluses. You're afraid of the unknown. I read a book once. Wouldn't do it again, but I... I don't know. I was just feeling serendipitous one day. Um, and it said that humans have th three like categories of things. Things they think are good, things they think are bad, and things they don't know about. And you have to like actually make effort to treat things you don't know about differently from things which are bad. Like, um... A lot of the time when you are confronted with something new, you just automatically put it in the things that are bad category because otherwise you might, like, die of poison or something. Like... This approach to living in the world makes very much sense if you are foraging for food uh, 20,000 years ago, but maybe not as much since now. Anyway. Books are wild. Fucking weird. What is a book? Uh, 
Watching Jorbs is potentially toxic to your health. Yeah, I, I say that at the beginning and end of every stream. I'm legally bound to do that. Static Discharge. <laughs> Maybe? I don't think Static Discharge is great here. I've got Molten Egg, so I should be able to kill stuff with attacks, you would think. In the state of California, it was found that Jorbs is a precursor to cancer. A lot of things are, in fairness. Is a book a sandwich? <laughs> Do you like pineapple on books? Thanks, man of cheese. God, I don't know. It's not that good against Guardian. I feel like I'm gonna walk into Act 2 and wish that I had a Static Discharge. Scoured by flames. Oh, the sentries are here. Hyper Beam! Yes! Yes, Hyper Beam. Excellent. You started thinking fast and slow after I mentioned a bit ago, and that's been a fun one. That book is dense. There's a lot of stuff in that book. It is also, like, very interesting. Mr. Kahneman. It is fascinating how much knowledge people who have studied something for their entire lifetimes have about that thing. Defrag seems really good, and then Happy Flower or Centennial Puzzle. I'm not sure... I guess Centennial Puzzle. It's probably harder to get card draw than to get energy, right? Rad. Frozen Eye for the seven hour run. I couldn't get Frozen Eye and Defrag, could I? I like Frozen Eye as much as the next person, but uh. I also quite enjoy a Defrag. Do I ever not upgrade Defrag when I am upgrading? Defrag is a very good upgrade for scaling your damage up. Or for scaling your deck up, rather. It's a better way to say that, actually. It is quite common that you want to upgrade something that will help your deck scale, but it also does happen that you want to upgrade something that will like help you deal front-loaded damage. Or upgrade something that will draw you more cards or like I might upgrade a seek over defrag or I might upgrade a sunder over defrag depends exactly what sort of situation I'm in in the run and like which fights are next and stuff like that <laughs> too bad some of thinking fast and so was debunked even before publishing that's yeah I mean who knew that human brains were complicated? Priming as described in the book is not a thing. Really? Oh.
This deck has actual relics. That's new. I think it does. They seem all right. Your cat says hello. I say hello as well. My cat feeder just went off at 4.32 p.m., which is interesting because it is scheduled to go off at 5, so my entire life is a lie. I like the... I like the energy potion a lot because I just took an echo form. I also like the focus potion a lot. And I like the swift potion a lot. What do I do about this? What do I do about this? I think I want the energy potion because of Centennial Puzzle. It gives me a big turn at some point in fights. Oh. Go form is insane. Let's uh, keep the couch diagnoses to a minimum. You have to go to school for quite a few years to be able to make claims like that. <laughs> At this point, I can sense incoming attacks anyway. I don't think... Like, uh, Rune uh, Domes. It is really hard to play the heart fight and not know if you're getting attacked for 40 or 120. Like, that makes your heart fight really bad. Other than that, I don't care that much about Runic Dome. Other than that, I think it's net positive, but the heart fight thing... Like, I'd rather get attacked for uh, uh, 41 and 150 than I, and know that it's happening than get attacked for 40 and 120 and not know that it's happening. That's actually more than the difference is. 41 and 135. Phylostone ends up being um, 5 and a third damage per turn against you in the heart fight, which is... You can get more than that in terms of output off one energy in the fight. So even though it sucks, it's like... You'd rather have it than not, probably. Abgarans, thanks for the nine months. Agbomo show to you as well. Calipers seems... Yeah, Calipers makes um, Runic Dome significantly better. That is true. Why did I echo form that one? Nobody knows. No one can say, hey. Ultra laser. Static discharge is back. I'll take a compile driver plus. I these are upgraded bytes and I have an echo form. I really like this. Hungry, hungry defect. <laughs> Remove dual cast? Maybe? There's not a lot that's great to do in this store. Rest in peace, Prism, and Biased Cog, and probably every other good thing in the entire world. Life is now cold and miserable. Hey, Falsius. Sell potions for biased cog. Uh, you don't get a great price for potions in this economy. It's a nice thought. But unfortunately ends up being impractical.
loop is a great strength potion. I think now that I know that I have an energy relic in Act 2, the energy potion got a lot worse. Ultra laser. Ultra laser? Ultra laser. Hey, sexy brown guy. It's going all right. What? What? How did? But incredibly, the cold snap is there too, so I can't draw two with compile driver, making this actually the best day of my life. I don't understand. How is. Someone's gonna have to explain how that happens to me at some point. Bear! What are the chances? So. 1 in 10, and then there were two different ones that could be the other bottom card. Now. I don't know, like 1 in... Probably 1 in 10,000. <laughs> Did I have a bite in my hand? I didn't look. I made a, a legitimate attempt to give you a real answer and then just decided to give up. Sorry about that. I didn't discard everything on turn one, did I? I should probably have discarded everything on turn one. One out of 380 for those two cards to be the last ones. Yeah, but there were other other situations that could have happened too, so it's a bit more complicated than that. Stupid video games and their complexity. Is there a spreadsheet for Slay the Spire? When I play this game, all I'm seeing is a spreadsheet. Just look at it like champion, book of stabbing, collector. Um, if you Google Slay the Spire reference, that'll get you a lot of the stuff you're probably asking about there. Is the real answer. No block cards? Hyperbeam's a block card. We don't say Red Woman anymore, Farisarg, because it reminds people of Game of Thrones and you don't want to do that. Is 36 health enough? I really want to upgrade a loop. I got some potions, it's probably enough. No one who says the word mowage is ever getting married. That's presumptuous. Mowage, mowage, mowage. Check back in a few years. 
10 nib hyper beam. That's exciting. Mowage percent. Husband, you both say mowage. <laughs> I'm jealous. I'm a little bit jealous. Amber Tea House. I see you there. You're allowed to go over this one? Not actually. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> sorry, I got distracted. Uh, Gremlin Horn, cool. Streamline. Oh, that thing is had seven. Uh, I stopped updating that a long time ago, but if you do exclamation mark data, there's a fan made thing that analyzes a lot of my runs. <laughs> was that lethal? Look, I was busy trying to work out where the hitboxes were on dropping the card. <clears throat> and if you don't like that, you're not invited to my birthday party. This is an upgraded ritual dagger. How do you say no to that? My deck cannot block, okay. That is how you say no to that. I believe it was Dwight Eisenhower. I believe it was Dwight Eisenhower back around WW2 who famously said, we have nothing to fear except the champ. 73 times heavyweight champion of the Spire. I suspect he may be about to kill us, but maybe if we get a lucky echo form, we'll be okay. The orbs had two damage on them, Sentus Lupinus, because I played a thingamajig, defrag. Yeah, I'm just bad. That's... <clears throat> you know how it goes. I 
I'm losing Penda by doing this. That's fine. Penda doesn't seem that important to have at the start of the champ fight, yeah. I could try to kill with Zap. I'd rather just have three health, I think. Just have the three health. Chill seems very good with Bag of Prep and Gambling Chip. And I need a better block card. I'm gonna take a defend plus. That needs an equilibrium. It does. It, yeah, it does. It needs a big block card. Echo form. Echo form. Unbelievable. <laughs> Sid Vitriolic, thanks for the three months of the Bomushu late to you as well. I want to play Defrag twice. It seems important. It seems important. What's the champ plan? We play a bunch of loops, four of them, and then we play a bunch of defrags, and we just try to have really big numbers. And maybe the numbers are big enough that we win. It's not my most inspired plan ever, but it is a plan. So I have like this if I need. But I'm gonna wait a bit because I'm not convinced that I need it yet. It depends how the champ decides to buff a little bit. What are you doing, cat? Are you the one handsome? Hello? Show Zephyr. Can you give the champ strength with dark shackles? No. You cannot. You can remove the champ strength permanently with dark shackles. feel better entertained with Zephyr. Yeah, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. I actually feel like I have more intelligent company with Zephyr. Ahem. <clears throat> I was being mean, Zephyr. That was a funny joke. <laughs> He's not actually very smart. How often does one have a successful run in this game? My win rate's up around 35% at the highest difficulty, and at the beginning difficulties, people who know what they're doing almost never lose. <gasps> oh. 
Should I like do the math and work out if this is good, maybe? Like... No. Nah, I should just click on it. That's a lot safer. Conventional wisdom is you take biased cognition here. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> there are several reasons for that. Cool? Pyramid's probably okay. Deck doesn't do that much, but Pyramid's probably okay. Bite upgrade should decrease damage on bites so you can bite more. That's probably the smartest thing that I've ever heard. It could deal negative damage. No key. Um, Runic Pyramid's like probably the second best boss relic in the game. Or at least Neko Eyes, usually only the best one. Only the the only the only one that's better than that. There you go. That's how you English. Skyblazer, thanks for the 15 months. Ogbomo show to you as well. You have owned a house for less time than you've been subbed to this nonsense. That means that you got a house after you started subbing to my stream, which implies to me that subbing to my stream is probably pretty good for you. I would keep it up. Maybe you'll get more houses. What's the house to month ratio right now? Oh, <laughs> that's not what I wanted. I remove it. Hey, biased cogs or <clears throat> orange pellets, which I called biased cog because of biased cog. This is a very good relic. You have zero houses. Should watch the stream more. Boop your nose. I could totally have left that fight with Pennib stacked better. Take one cold snap. I think I'm a little bit light on the ability to generate frost orbs. Soup holder, thanks for the 18 months. Agbo Mushu to you as well. I guess you're at like at least 1.2 houses then. Good thing Runic Pyramid's effect is not considered a debuff. I guess that's handy. Let's take a chill and a zap. I'll do this. Looking for a power. Hey, this is a power. Beautiful. Ravius, thanks for the two months. Hogbomu show to you as well.
Just, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that I'm teaching people things, Barash. I'm gonna have to work on teaching people, <laughs> teaching people things which are true. But um, I'm glad that you've learned something, even if it was uh, completely false in every way. <clears throat> no, it's probably true though, right? What do orange pellets do? If you play a skill, attack, and power in the same turn, you remove all your debuffs. So see how I used to have a debuff? Boom! I don't have a debuff anymore. It's very powerful, even more powerful than it seems at first glance, because there are so many more things which are debuffs in this game than you might think. For example, biased cognition. Gain four focus at the start of your turn, lose one focus. That thing's a debuff. At the start of your turn, lose one focus is a debuff. So if you play a, an attack and a skill and then biased cog, when you play it, it will actually remove the debuff by itself and you'll just gain four focus permanently. This is a debuff, lose three focus here. Although if I were to play two hyper beams and then remove my debuffs, I wouldn't get the focus back in this case because it would go from positive six focus to zero focus, and the game doesn't remember debuffs and buffs separately. Anyway, it's all weird. It's all weird. Quaffles, thanks for the 15 months. Agbo Mosho to you as well. I feel like I'm answering your question with way more than you were actually looking for at this point, so I'm going to shut up. I'm going to chill. Other people like this game, but maybe not as much as... Maybe not as much as you do, Jarbs. Maybe they don't need to know every single thing. Um. <laughs> Hi, welcome to my three-hour lecture about debuffs in Slay the Spire. Uh, my name is Jorbs the Champ Jorbsington. Legally changed recently. And I streamed Slay the Spire professionally for five years before becoming a university lecturer on the subject at Harvey Mudd University. Boom, boom, boom. Get a bunch of focus for the rest of the fight. Uh, this one. Sure. It is 7 a.m. I haven't slept and had just come up with a very weird and dumb card idea. X energy, heal an enemy by half of lost health and make it minus 100 strength for X turns. Okay sign. Trinkle. I hope that you get some sleep. <laughs> Random person, thanks for the two months. Agba will show to you as well. Sleep is wonderful. Not being able to sleep sucks. We all just like agree on that. I feel like sometimes it's hard to agree on the internet. No, you're wrong. No, I'm wrong. Uh, but I, th I think we can all agree on that one. Sleep sucks wasting a third of your life. Honestly, I feel like I'm wasting the two thirds of my life where I'm not sleeping. Would it have been weird if the Garden State soundtrack started playing as I said that? I don't think so. I think it would have been cool. Is this now an E stream? Possibly. Hey, greedy boy! He 
Sleeping is a human version of have you tried turning it off and on again? It's a good idea. It works. This boss is gonna give me gold plated cables. I'll take gold plated cables. I got an Omamori instead. I feel personally attacked by you. Not this time, Transient. This time it is you who will die. Let's just put Echo Form in play as quickly as possible. I want to play Hyper Beam next turn, and then Deep Rag. That way I can remove the debuffs from Hyper Beam. Fuck, it doesn't quite work. That's probably okay. What if I just go Bioscog, Defrag? There are a lot of things I could do. <laughs> Have I ever flat out killed Transient? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I worked out a... <sighs> fairly cute proof on how you can kill Transient uh, in any fight that you fight against Transient in, but unfortunately it's uh, too long to fit in the margins of this broadcast. Now I've done it a few times. I think just this. You're making bread today. That's awesome, Onion Knight. What are you, uh, what's your recipe? You doing anything special or is it just bread? Nothing wrong with that. No, I'm, I'm making bread bread. You know what I'm saying? I believe Fermat was the first internet troll. That's not true. Who was the Greek guy? Diogenes? Who fucking remembers? He was he was pretty good at it. But I feel like Fermat was like definitely good for his uh his time period. Diogeny is the well-known internet troll. Internets aren't going to troll themselves, that's for sure. Was it Bullseye plus, plus buffed in beta? Yes, Bullseye has been buffed. Do I need to echo for him biased in this fight? I probably don't, right? I also probably can though. I don't see why I can't. Alright, let's just do it. <laughs> I should have saved Zap because it's a zero cost skill. That would have been clever.
All right. That should be fine. I play this twice. And then I play one attack and one skill. Then I play this twice. I am now blocking for the biggest number known to mankind. 52. That's it. Hmm. <laughs> Feels like I should be caring about Pendip here, probably. And I block for enough to wait for the lightning orbs anyway. <laughs> nice. Is 52 a prime number? It's even, so... 50-50, I guess. That's cool. Upgrade Biased Cog, upgrade Defrag, and then Recall. There's a broken pixel over my face nose. You're going to take a screenshot. Have you considered that you might have a dead pixel on your monitor? The white balance on the camera is really fucking irritating. I need to fix that. Is it this? Shouldn't be that. Could I cover it with the Wizard of Love? <laughs> Tibla! Thanks for the sub. Agbomo show to you as well. Oh, that's fucking terrifying. <laughs> Alright. Good luck us. We're gonna need it. Mr. McMahon face. Thanks for the sub. Agbomo show to you as well. How does defect bite with its mouth? Duh. Are there situations where Pyramid would be counterproductive? Absolutely. It's not very good with Snekoi, for example. Generally, though, if you're playing a deck where Pyramid is bad, it's because it's doing something else very strong. 
or because you built a bad deck. <laughs> Which might not be your fault, you might have just like not gotten any good cards or whatever, but... Most good decks in this game really, 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 really like having Pyramid in them. I did win a Sneko Eye Pyramid deck, that is true. Swiping Bane? Am I just going to explode on turn two of the Act 4 lead fight? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm going to take FTL so that I can have a zero cost attack for removing debuffs. I feel like that could be useful. Pyramid could kill you on Slavers. You have to, like, really be allergic to putting damage in your deck. Pyramid to kill you on slavers. It's a rough allergy to have. Some people do suffer from it. But yeah, if you're like going through your entire deck twice in Act 2 and still not killing slavers, I don't know what to tell you. I'm gonna retire the Wizard of Love for the uh, rest of the run if that's okay. Any deck that can deal a bunch of damage on turn one or two, scale up to be really strong on turn three, four, five, six and defend okay is a pretty good deck in this game, Currency Cat. You don't need to like limit yourself super much. There are lots of ways to build a deck that can win. Steam Barrier actually? Seems alright. Upgrade all cards. You can no longer heal. I think we got most of them upgraded though. Actually, I have three defend upgrades. Damn. Orange pellets can absolutely go off twice in a turn, yeah. Get skill. Attack. What do orange pellets do? If I play a skill attack and power in the same turn, they cleanse all of my debuffs. If you want my three hour long lecture on the subject, you can check the VOD. This is not really a fight this time around. Strongest deck we've had today by a good distance. Okay, speed potion's very good. So is defrag plus. Speed potion's insanely good. This gives me plus five dexterity for a fight of my choosing. Tori's also very good. Everything is great. I'm in love. I'm a believer. I couldn't leave her if I try. We play some chills. We 
play a hyper beam. Fuck, does that not work? Oh fuck, maybe that doesn't work. I don't, I don't think that works. I think I'd end up at one focus. Okay, never mind. We don't do that. I'd end up at two focus, but still. Why wouldn't it work? I would hyper beam, go to minus three focus, I'd bias cog, go to positive two focus, and then cleanse all my debuffs and be left at positive two focus instead of five focus. Five focus seems better. But I started the turn with the assumption that that hyper beam play worked, so now I'm sort of like in a weird place because the thing I was planning to do doesn't work at all. But we should be fine, right? I do have bites, so taking some damage here isn't the end of the world. <laughs> I took one damage. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Twenty-three times four. Twenty-seven times four. Better. Okay. Definitely blocking for enough. Just have to work out how to actually kill the Awakened One now. It's a pretty strong Awakened One. see when I look in the mirror every morning? My face. Is this a meme? trick question? Is this one of those like quizzes that they have on Facebook? Um, okay. Why not keep Bullseye for next turn? I guess, like, because nothing matters. Sorry, I didn't mean to, like, have an existential crisis there answering your question, but... <laughs> One doesn't simply plan, plan for those. Sometimes they just happen. Good to be open about it. Don't be ashamed to, you know, share with your support group that you're not feeling great. That's a lot of strength for you. For you. Okay, 
Fight number two. Where did we get 17 focus? I wonder if that's like uh, a distinction between types of people. The people who come into that fight and see that we have 17 focus and the people who come into it and see that the Awakened One has 23 strength or whatever. So we can do just about anything here. Let's do that. Just needed any skill. Two of these. One of these. One of these. Hey Tavis, thanks for the 13 months. What did Batman say to Robin before they got in the car? Robin, get in the car. I will move shoot you as well. <clears throat> Horse walks into a bar, and the bartender says, Why the long face? <laughs> the horse says, I was born into a life of servitude, and when I die, my feet will be turned into glue. Am I right? Okay. I have a collection of jokes that I only ever tell when I uh, see Caitlyn's parents. <laughs> it's like a ritual. Like we all sit down to dinner and there's this like tense silence then I start speaking. Oh no. They're all ready to pretend to, to find me funny. Caitlin's parents watch my stream. Sometimes they'll tune in for like charity streams. I do charity streams on Christmas Day and Caitlin goes and hangs out with her family and they'll have me on the TV in the living room and just like sort of check in every now and then see how I'm doing. 1993 damage. Aristocratica. Oh no, there's like nothing to upgrade anymore. This one, yay. Does one need another biased cog really? The strong things in this store are Bottled Tornado, Bronze Scales, and Biased Cognition. It doesn't feel like we need another Biased Cog, right? It doesn't feel like we need another Biased Cog. Don't I like keep having 17 focus or something? 
Actually, killing the heart's gonna be weird because none of my orbs deal damage and I don't have, like, attacks. That's why I said bronze scales is actually okay here. Bronze scales is what? 45, 90, it's like 200 some damage to the heart. And I get to card remove as well if I buy bronze scales. A lot of damage. They probably all win. It's just like which one wins the most easily, I guess. I'm gonna say that one does. Evil Ninja Dude can kill the heart with our ultra lasers. That is. We can kill these guys with our ultra lasers. having charge battery. I like drawing more cards with Incendial Puzzle anyway, so I don't really want to fully block here. How does Hyper Beam hit both when they surround me? Um, I feel like you just need to watch more Sailor Moon. That's the like simple way to answer that question. We don't really want to kill the one on the right. We want to bite off it. Four cards are played this turn. It's an awkward number of cards to have played so far this turn. Twin-headed emu. Thanks for the two months on Bomo show to you as well. MVP definitely Omomori. MVP Omomori has been called. Called and noted. Recorded. Get that in the record. Absurd refunded. I still haven't refunded a game on stream. I need to work on that. I feel like that's just good content. I'm at full health. I can probably play a zap then if I want. And Nib is not perfect yet. Getting there though. Got my focus. My focus is running out. Let's not joke about that. There's nothing funny about a defect losing its focus. Okay. 
I have two really good potions. I have Echo Form in play turn one. I just need to make sure that I actually deal damage in this fight, and I'll be fine. And all the damage I need to deal is like a couple of lightning orbs a turn or something. I don't need a ton of damage. Skill power. Attack. Go form the sucker. Yeah, if only I had the boot. <laughs> nice. Biased Cogs, Cool Headed Compile Driver. First Bite, I guess. Seems fine too. The damage is in the mail, heart. Seven times fifteen. It's not enough to deal me damage here. We're good having the lightning orb looping next turn. Turn after this as well, we can loop the lightning orb, it's fine. Jorbs wins. Mm. Still got it. Still got it. And that's why they say nobody beats Jorbs six times in a row. Fuck yeah. Now Jorbs is the spire. <laughs> I am now a spire. I'm I'm working on the look. I'm I'm not there yet. <laughs> All it took was a collection of the strongest relics combined with the strongest cards. <laughs> it's it's a simple game, but it comes down to it. It's not <laughs> It's not really that tough. Don't know why everybody makes a big deal. <laughs> 